Hi everyone, this is Anita Laudhani, licensed clinical social worker, energy practitioner. And today I wanna to talk about mistakes that we make. So if you are someone who's never made a mistake, then your name must be Jesus Cristo and you must walk on water. Because if your name is not Jesus Christ and you don't walk on water, chances are you've made a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm being facetious, right? But everyone makes mistakes. And how we respond to that mistake has everything to do with our uh, resilience and our recovery and our quality of peace of mind and our health. Some people make a simple mistake and, you know, they maybe lose their job or maybe they said something and maybe it's an inter interaction with someone and they've hurt someone's feelings. And so they feel like, it's horrible and this person hates me or I've lost so and so and I can never recover from that. Um, these days, you know, people are blaming, there's a lot of blame, but environmentally we're just stuck in a pandemic and everyone is struggling. And having said so, because we're in a pandemic, we're not thinking straight. We are uh, making irrational decisions. We are being impulsive. Um, you may be emotional. Um, and then when we realize we're doing that, we feel bad, you know, um, we feel horrible. Sometimes it's an expensive mistake because it cost us money. It cost us time. We have to then make amends. And a lot of people will go into immediately going into extremely thinking, I hate, you know, I can't do anything right. You know, I, I'm such a loser. You know, I just can't do it. So I might as well just end my life. And that's the extreme form that some people go to. I know that I've been there. You know, I've contemplated um, suicide as a little girl. And I know you guys are going to be, you know, not happy and scared and shocked that I'm saying this. But yeah, you know, I've struggled with depression since, since I was a little kid. And in my head, I would always say, you know, what's the point? You know, I would, this negative self-talk was vicious. And I would contemplate, you know, let's just end it. What's the point of it anyways? And of course, I'm so grateful that I didn't. Because I know now that when I was in the darkest moments, um, in the deep, deep depression, whether it was you know, going through the divorce. So it was just even, you know, even, even as a teenager, you know, breakups or whatever the case might be, um, or losing jobs and, you know, having that security taken away from me. It was, it's easier to just go into, I should just end it all, you know, but that's not a solution, guys. That's not the solution. I know that it seems like things are bad and you can't get out of it, but let me promise you, this too shall pass. It always does. So no matter what you're going through right now, no matter how bad you think you have it, no matter how badly you've messed up, and yes, we all mess up. And sometimes it costs us money. Sometimes it costs us relationship. I get it. I totally get it. But it's not worth losing yourself, losing your life over. It's not worth checking out. Not worth it. Instead, please reach out to me reach out to someone else, get professional help, whatever you need to do. I am always available to get on the phone and have a conversation with anyone because I know that when you're at the lowest point in your life, you can't see any light. But I can promise you that a conversation with someone else outside of you will help you see the light, will give you the motivation to keep going, will give you the direction to reach out and get the help you need. Because guys, everyone makes mistakes. We all do. I just recently made a mistake that's, you know, I'm not proud of. And it's like, what did I do that for? It was a mistake. I'll have to pay for it. I'll have to, you know, emotionally pay for it, financially pay for it. It is what it is, you know, and I can't do anything about it. So I'll pay for it. It's not the end of the world. That's all I'm trying to say. It's not the end of the world. Reach out, get help, talk to me, 
talk to your friends, talk to your loved ones and get the support that you need to get through this rough period. Because again, you're not defined by the mistakes you make. You're not defined by the choices you make. Because when you know better, you do better. So if you've made a choice that you don't like the consequences of, guess what? Yeah, you have to go through and finish the consequences of whatever it is that you've decided to do. But then next time you learn from it and you won't make that mistake again. Simple as that. So hang in there, reach out and get help and be kind to yourself. It's tough enough, you know, being alive and human and being an adult. You know, everyone kind of shits on us anyways. Don't do it for yourself. Don't do it on yourself, okay? Be kind to yourself. Speak to yourself the way you would speak to your loved ones. Speak to yourself the same way that you would speak to your loved ones. Offer yourself the kindness, offer yourself the compassion, offer yourself the forgiveness that you would offer your closest friends and family. But it starts with you. You deserve it. You're worth it. And this too shall pass. Reach out. I'm always available. Send me a message. We'll get through this together. Okay? Love and light. Take care. God bless.